My name's Kimberly, and I'm the manager here at Lola Farms. And my name is Shane Rissler, and I'm the other half of this farm. <laughs> Well, we'd been, I guess, talking about it for, and researching it for probably six months yeah. or longer before we decided, and when we came across the old spots, we were both kind of like, well, this is it. Um, the old spot, Gloucestershire old spots, um, one of their nicknames is the orchard pig or the cottage pig, and uh, they're great at cleaning up, you know, uh, fruits and any kind of vegetables you have. And to be a small farmer and make it, you have to find something that is very good about your animal. Mm -hmm. And um, c clearly the, the taste of the meat is, is phenomenal. And it's, it's, um, it, it's very rewarding to, for people to say, wow, you know, that, I know I bought pork chops, but wow, that was not regular pork chops. The royal family over in England, you know, they have their own um, herd of old spots that they that they raise. So the fact that actually both of our pigs, the Maishan pigs and the old spots, are looked upon from royalty as two of the best pigs to eat. So yeah, they're, they're, there's pretty good quality in there. As you are very much aware, any kind of farming is you have good days and you have bad days and then you have really bad days. And on those really bad days, when you come out and they take off running across the field and they're absolutely hilarious, whatever you were having a bad day about has just away. got washed away. A pasture raised. Uh, pig is that yeah in a commercial commercial industrial uh, operation you can produce a product that's ready to be uh, processed in six months it takes us 10, 10 to 12 months to raise our animals up uh, the fact that they're spending so much time on pasture adds to the quality of meat that you're going to get at the end of that growing time um, it, well it's not they're great at just you know eating you know all the refuse you know your your vegetables, your leftover garden scraps or whatever you have, you know, but there is a purpose to raising them out on pasture with mixed, um, you know, whether it's wheat or barley in the clover and winter crops like that, and then your, all of your summer crops come around, it helps add and make a better product. And that is the beauty of an open pasture uh, operation. To learn about what, what we're doing and why we're doing it and why it's important to support your local farmers. Um, without the consumer, none of us can do this. So it is important for people to understand and want to know their farmers, know where their, their products come from, know how they were raised. Um, all of these things are critical to the success of what we're doing and what other small farmers are, are doing doing across the country and it's extremely important from the preservation of these heritage breeds.